Guys, I wanted to take some time in this video to do a comparison between the Springfield Operator and the TSOS Raider. These are two very similar but different firearms. Now, I have gotten an, a detailed article over on my website that I will link below this video that kind of gets more into the specs to go over and check it out. The TSOS Raider, as many of you all know, is based upon the Colt M45A1, which was carried by the U.S. Marines for a brief period of time. This is an all steel frame firearm. It is a very solid gun. It does have the rail and there are a lot of features about this gun that make it very enjoyable to shoot. That make it very fun and reliable. And the same can be said about the Springfield Operator. Now of course this is the lightweight model which means it has an alloy frame compared to the steel frame. Uh, but there are several different models of these out there on the market. Now, some of the differences between these two guns is, for one thing, the price. Uh, the price of these two guns is very different. When you get out to the gun store or whatever and compare them, uh, there is a big difference in the price. The Raider is much more affordable than what the Springfield would be, uh, but that does not mean that it is any less. There are some, as far as quality, there are some differences that we're going to take a minute to look at and also detailed in the article as well. Uh, the first of those is the sights. Now, the sights on this gun, of course, are Trigicons. These are a much more expensive sight, so again, that is going to cause a bit of price increase on these compared to the TSOS. However, the traditional sights this is just a three dot sight, a Novak style sight that you can replace on either gun. They're both dovetailed in front and back on both firearms. If you, if you can see there, so depending on what you wanted to do with your firearm, uh, you would be able to upgrade those. The fit and finish on these guns is very similar. The lockup on my Raider is very, very tight. However, I do believe that the Springfield is just a slightly bit more tight. There is that just that little more oomph that is in the Springfield as far as how it feels when it comes to the lockup. Uh, the fit and finish of the slide, the slab to frame fit, again, the Springfield is slightly tighter than what the TSOS feels, but it is very close. You know, if you would need to get a set of calipers or something like that to actually measure the difference between these two firearms. Uh, now, this is just comparing the ones that I have. My Springfield operator, I do have more rounds through it than I do my Raider, which can affect the way that it feels. Okay, I do have uh, several more rounds through this gun. Uh, the safety, very positive on the Springfield Operator compared to the TSOS Raider. Uh, this is very crisp as well, but I do believe the Springfield has a slight advantage. Not saying that this is bad, this is a very good and very positive safety. Uh, the trigger, the way the trigger feels on this firearm, okay, and for the safety sallies out there, we are unloaded. The TSOS Raider. There is very little take up till you hit the wall. Once you hit the wall there, you just keep building pressure and the hammer falls. The reset is approximately right there. So it's a very tight reset until you press that trigger again. Springfield operator, same thing. We have just a little bit of take up till we hit the wall and the hammer will fall. The trigger on my operator is slightly lighter than the trigger on my Raider. Again though, it does not mean that the Raider has a bad trigger. In fact, it has a very good trigger. But just like with anything else, there are advantages to one over the other. There are slight differences between one over the other. Both feel very good in the hands. Uh, you know, when I grip them, the grips on these are very similar size, just to do a comparison. Of course, the Springfield has wood grips, and my Raider has G10 grips. Uh, there is on these grips a little bit of a thumb release for relief for the magazine release. It does not have it on the Springfield operator. That's no real big deal. 
but for those of you all who might want that little bit extra i mean of course grips are replaceable on your 1911s as just like anything else so that really is up to you both have the extended beaver tails uh, does have the memory bump on both of these firearms as you can see there now the grip safety on the raider compared to the operator feels very similar uh, there's feels like there's just a slight bit more tension on the raider grip safety which is no big deal uh, there again guys where i'm talking about slight i mean very very slight difference between the way these two firearms feel both have picatinny rails for adding lights and other accessories uh, you can see some of the differences in the trigger you see we just have the standard trigger on the tsos raider and on the springfield operator it does have a skeletonized trigger as well also on the operator this trigger you can adjust the over travel where on the tsos raider you cannot it is fixed okay the safety on these of course both ambi safety uh, both of these firearms as far as fit and finish very tight if you will look at the uh, fit on the slide the slide to frame fit as you can see here in the camera as far as this close-up uh, you can also see the blending difference now i'm going to actually have to give t sauce a little bit of advantage on the blending of the extractor if you notice here the extractor on the raider as far as the blending is very flush on my Springfield operator, it is sticking out slightly. It is not blended as smooth on my Springfield operator compared to what it is on my TSOS Raider. Okay, so that is an advantage to the TSOS Raider. Now, another thing that I want to mention as well is I want you to notice some attention to detail on this. Uh, notice the way that it is beveled around the takedown button. You know, this of course is for the slide stop where you would disassemble this firearm for cleaning and other maintenance. The takedown on this has been beveled. You can see that it's beveled all the way around this. It's not completely flush through here, but it is much lower than what it is on the Springfield operator. Now, if you look at the Springfield operator, it is just straight through. There is no beveling or anything like that on this firearm to that. So, and there again, guys, this is just one of those little things that you will notice between these two firearms. And I think that that's something that is critical to point out on that because for the price differences on these, you're getting a lot of gun for the value. You know, this is a big value. Of course, the Springfield operator, we all know Springfield quality. We all know what Springfield is, what they do, and things like that. Both of them are very beautiful guns. I really enjoy shooting both of them. I will take times about at the range with these two firearms and just enjoy the afternoon. That's why we do this sport. You couldn't go wrong either way, guys. It just really depends on what your preferences are. It's just a little bit of information about these that I wanted to share with you all. Uh, of course, another thing about this, the TSOS Raider is it does have the lanyard loop here on the bottom to where you could connect a lanyard if necessary if you wanted to or whatever you know it's very very authentic to the colt carried by the u.s troops and of course we all know the popularity of springfield 1911s as well very high quality firearms but guys let me know which you would prefer down in the comments below. This is just a quick comparison that I wanted to do. If you want to get more into the specs, go down to uh, the links in the description. Go over to my website at boomsticktactical.com. Check out the article. But guys, check out all of the links down below. You can help support the channel by picking up some of our merch. we got some new t-shirts and things like that out. Link down below. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.